What's up, everybody? Welcome back to JB Breaks Free. I hope you're having a great day, a blessed day, getting 1% better than yesterday, trying to find some wins. Even if they're little, I'm trying to do the same. Um, I want to talk about what I have going on this evening real quick. But before I do that, I did side hustle a bit and made 50 bucks with Instacart. I'd like to be doing more. It was just kind of some small grinds today, here and there, just little items adding up. I did some product tube and made about 35 bucks there. So, I mean, not bad side hustling. I think I'm at about 150 for the week Instacart. And I got to make up two days this week of waiting tables. So if I can get to like 270, 300, I guess that's going to be good enough. And at least I was free. And I did have today requested off even before the restaurant that I worked at closed on Wednesdays for the summer at least. Uh, May 25th, the day after Bob Dylan's 81st birthday. I love Bob. But today is also a special day, May 25th. It is my friend's, one of my best friend's birthdays who has passed. He passed in 2017 in October. And I can't believe it. It was an overdose with fentanyl. And it was obviously pretty shocking to the core for myself. And, you know, my group of friends and their family is just still devastated from it. Um... I don't know. It's just it's just crazy. So his dad gets us all together and we're going to go up to the cemetery. And uh, there's going to be a priest there to say a few words. And then probably we will all say a couple words ourselves. I'm not even sure what I'm going to say. Um, I don't know. I do talk to him all the time. And there's some funny things that I could talk about. But... Um, it's just pretty crazy that it's been that long. It's hard to believe. It's like, I guess it's a privilege to get to grow old. Um, right before he passed, my kids' birthdays are in October, October 1st. And he gave some toys to the kids. And he had come over like earlier in the week to do it. And he was always so invested in them. And I still have those gifts. One was like a troll's doll that you like brush their hair it was like a, a head where you brush the hair and the other was a moana doll and we talked about on this channel you know trying to limit some of the stuff that they keep forever but i think those will be two things that they do at least for a while and i you know i tell them about him and it's probably hard for them to understand i remember that morning it was october 7th the day before my anniversary and I'm upstairs in the bathroom getting ready and my buddy calls. And I'm like, hey, what's going on? And he's just in this very down voice. I'm like, come on, snap out of it, man, snap out of it. And uh, he's like, go downstairs, go downstairs. It's like, it's bad. I'm like, what? I'm like, what are you talking about? Don't, you know, don't be, don't be so sad. Just go downstairs right now. So I go downstairs, like Bob's coming over. And so I go downstairs, I'm walking down the stairs, and at this point I'm thinking it's probably my dad or something, something bad. And then I see him, and he was in tears. And then he told me, and I remember just sitting on the couch, and I was like, man, what the hell? Uh, you know, he was just there. He was so funny. He was a very funny guy. I was going to be the best man in his wedding. He had a wedding coming up. And myself and another close friend, we were going to be in the wedding party. And that kind of brought us closer um, together after he passed. It's like some friends on the outside kind of became tighter and tried to fill that void as best that we could. You know, I go visit him every now and again. I gave the eulogy at his funeral and spoke in front of a lot of people. And I was honored to to have that, uh, given that honor from his parents. And, you know, we still keep his memory alive. We still meet up every day, every time in his birthday. And we're always talking about him. And his fantasy football league still survives. And we go over to his parents' house and, and have pizza and, and draft fantasy football. I don't play it, but I still go over for the draft and, and eat and, you know, just kind of be around his parents, but they're still very upset. When I see his dad at the grocery store, he'll often just choke up. And he says, whenever I see him, you know, 
whenever I say you, I think of him and, and, and just know how tough that is. Um, it was an honor to get to know him. He was very funny. Um, I started the eulogy by saying how much of an honor it was to be speaking, but I was surprised to be speaking because I didn't think Bill liked me. And people laughed and I would say, he would tell me every day. <laughs> he would call me up and just go crazy about this or that. And I would just laugh and laugh. And like my family would be upstairs and I'd be laughing so hard that they knew who I was talking to. He, we just had that relationship, a very silly relationship. And I would try to make him like Kobe Bryant and classic rock music. And he would try to make me like Allen Iverson and rap music. And we'd always pick on each other's football teams. And I don't know, we just had a weird relationship. But it was very, very fun. We had a lot of great times. And I'm glad that we connected. And today we'll go up there in his honor. And... um so that's what's happening in the life of JB today. Um, it's definitely changed me, I think. Um, made me drink a lot less and just enjoy the time that I can with my family um, and try to keep his memory alive as much as I can and the people who I'd love to have passed, like mostly my grandparents. Um, luckily, I don't have too many others to mourn at this point. But um, going to see a good friend today, and I hope I'm making him proud. And I will see you guys on the next video.